Well, there you have it, Saints fans. Your big splash signing comes in the form of Demario Davis, linebacker from the New York Jets. He was Pro Football Focus's highest rated linebacker in free agency. Their number eight rated linebacker overall. We're going to talk about him here right now because, man, you know, we've been waiting on it. We, we talked about it. it could be this, this guy, that guy over the past couple of days, and now we finally know who the big signing for this year is going to be. You've heard myself say it, Mike Dettelier. Uh, I think Nick Underhill said it, Josh, Josh Catton signed. Look for one big signing and then some budget signings. Well, they brought in Patrick Robertson, $5 million a year for four years. A little bit of guaranteed. Demario Davis coming in here on a $24 million three-year contract with $18 million guaranteed. That's $8 million a year. That's big money for a linebacker, but I think you're going to like what you're getting here. If you look above, I threw out the stats that he had last year coming off his best season with the New York Jets, 135 total tackles, five sacks, three pass deflections. Uh, you're getting a guy who's a stout middle linebacker, shows good mental processing, the ability to read the field and get an idea of what's going on, and then attack. Good at avoiding blocks and shedding blocks. Uh, like I said, you're, you're looking at a 29-year-old who is a – established veteran and a good player in this league. You know, he started off with the Jets, went to the Browns, went back to the Jets, you know, and, and the first thing that people will say, well, he got overpaid for. Well, you overpay for quality in, in free agency, and I think the Saints are getting some form of quality here. And I, I think that you're plugging one of the biggest holes is on the defense, you had to upgrade that linebacker spot. You know, whether it was Will because Alex Anzalone can't stay healthy, you know, or it's Mike because Manti Teo is only a two-down player. Demario Davis is going to give you the ability to have a guy that can stay on the field a lot more than one or two plays and having to sub out. And they might still do that. We've shown that he has some recognition and ability in coverage more so than some of the Saints linebackers now. Now, he's not going to keep up with running backs out of the backfield. Very few are. But he's going to give you a guy who's an immediate upgrade. And what I want to do, not only are we going to talk about the contract, we're going to look at a few plays of him so you can get an idea of his ability here. And we're going to go ahead and look at a couple. We're going to look at them going against the New England Patriots. Obviously a good team. This first play we're going to look at is just his ability to diagnose and read a pass play and how he reacts to it here, right here at the top of your screen. He is number 56 in the middle. Uh, you'll notice him immediately calling out, uh, coverages and plays. You see he's got a middle zone, and then he flows over to the opposite side where his guy misses a tackle. Important, though, though, look at him with a recognition to see the play and go and attack after it moves well, sideline to sideline. He ran a 4-6 of the NFL Combine seven years ago coming out of Arkansas State. So he's got a little bit of athleticism, got some bulk to him, and you can see that he can track if needed and, you know, here against the Patriots is a good game to watch. You know, they've got Deion Lewis, one of the most underrated running backs in the NFL. And they also have some pretty decent receivers. So there he's the play action. And now he's going to flow. Get over there, make a tackle. Cornerback should make it, but he comes out, puts a little bit of beef on him, pushes him out of bounds. And all we're looking there is tracking. It's his ability to track the play. That's all I wanted to really show. And then we'll look at a couple more. And this is not me trying to give you guys a full film study on him, but give you guys an idea of what you're getting. And I think you're getting a quality player here. This is what I really like. This kind of shows that he's got some bulk that can move. This is Brandon Cooks running an end around. We all know Brandon Cooks runs a 4-3. Watch the eye discipline of Demario Davis as he processes. He, he takes his gap, maintains gap integrity right there. I want to pause it and go back. Look at this. Instead of shooting the gap and biting on Deion Lewis, he's reading the blocker. Seen the blocker come out, so now he knows he's got to watch for this end around. So what's he do? Plant, watch. As soon as he sees that handoff, go. Good containment on the outside by him uh, and 95 there for the Jets. Two-yard loss. Big play. That's the type of thing that you're looking for because the Saints were known to give up big plays, especially on plays like that. The ability to key and read his keys and diagnose quickly and react is a huge, huge benefit to New Orleans. It gives them an upgrade. And then just here's you another one, reading and flowing. And I said, you've got a bigger guy. He's not the fastest linebacker, but he's got decent speed. And this is a quality play. He prevents him from getting to the third level. The third level. The third level. Good read, attack. Let's watch it one more time from this angle, just slow. You see you got the guard pulling. He's going to – nice help from the one there to help avoid it, but – just good, solid, open field tackle. Now let's look at one more. 
And then we'll kind of talk about the contract, why it's a pro, con, good contract, bad contract, that kind of thing. Remember, 56, he's primarily a middle linebacker here. Flow, 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 get through the trash, make a tackle. It's a good play, isn't it? You're not asking for a lot from these guys. You're just asking for a lot. <laughs> I love this flow, though. See how he's calling out, a, and this is something you're also getting, a leader. He's calling out defensive linemen adjustments. He's reading what they're having. And look, when he switched over the defensive tackle there, that now means he's uh, covered, so he's able to roam free. He knows where his play is going. Now he's just being patient, watch, attack. It's a great job, really good job. And I said this is what you're getting from him, a quality player who's able to play the middle linebacker position, shows the mental processing for the position to be able to read and also make play calls and help on the field with communication. Those are some of the biggest keys to success, more so than even athleticism can be. I think the contract, though, is what most people are going to look at and go, man, it's a lot of money. Is he worth it? And I'm going to say this. Any guy that can come in, be an immediate starter, and play three downs, which the Saints have not had from a linebacker that they could rely upon in some time, you know, especially a healthy guy. This guy has played 79 of 80 games. 79 of 80 in the past few seasons as a starter. You look on his uh, career sheet right here with NFL.com, right there, 96 total games. He's healthy. He doesn't have the durability concerns that Alex Anzalone or A.J. Klein have shown. This guy should come in and be a stable, reliable guy to fill the center of that defense, help make plays. And that doesn't mean you're getting rid of A.J. Klein or Manti Teo or Alex Anzalone. This only helps by adding depth and guys that you can trust and rely on. I'm telling you, this is a good move in my opinion. I'm looking forward to seeing how this pans out in the upcoming season. Want to give you guys an idea of who Demario Davis was because I don't think a lot of people really knew outside of New Orleans because you don't see him a lot with him being an AFC East player. So hope you enjoyed it. We'll see you on the next one. News has just been crazy here to start free agents.